Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Trails of Cold Steel 4 Part 5. In the previous video, we finished uh, talking to everyone around the Witch Village. Yuna and the gang learned that Oz of Mornazarene's dead. Yuna gave a good friendship speech. Not, not the best we've ever seen in the series, but a good friendship speech. You know, some respect to the Yunster. Then we had a little uh, side scene where we got to see what's going on with Reen and, uh, you know, Super Prison. Now we're going to proceed onward to the start of Chapter 1. Yo, did they delete all the color? St. Grawl Labyrinth? Yeesh! This place gives me a serious <laughs> case of the heebie-jeebies. Come on, Randy, please. Join the party. Randy! S so this is it. Randy! The Hexen Clan's Labyrinth of Ordeals. Yo, wake up, honey. New, new old schoolhouse just dropped. That it is. As I told you yesterday, your long rest has left you weak. But, like, can I just... Go to Oster or something? If you instead? remain so out of shape, you will find yourself in mortal danger with every battle that lies ahead. I mean, like, okay, I get it. We gotta have an old school house. I do feel like I'm weaker than before. <sighs> I still feel kind of bad that we couldn't head out with the others, though. Bro, we got ditched? Are you out of your damn mind? You gonna give that speech? And they're all like, there's no need to make distinction between new and old class seven. And then old class seven's like, fucking deuces, see ya. <laughs> Earlier that morning. I mean, I do kind of like the idea of there being like. Okay, Randolph, take good care of these three. A lore explanation for them actually being a little bit weaker than they were. Grandmother, try not to be too hard on them. Bro, what, what about the hat? I, mean, I see you got something else in your hair now, but... What about the hat? I may not look it, but I am an instructor, remember? And I, mean, I guess it was the glasses as well. For Honestly, the, the, for some reason, her not having the hat, like, stuck out to me more than her not wearing the glasses. Oh, worry not. I plan to rough them up just enough to get them ready. <sighs> Come now, there's no need to be so down. You'll catch up to us before you know it. Besides, while you're doing your training, we'll be gathering intel. We'll look for info on Reen, the mobilization law, uh, anything that might come in handy. Come join us once you're ready. We've got a tough mission ahead. We're gonna need all hands on deck. Understood. I promise. We won't be far behind you. Good luck. And please, be careful. Don't do anything crazy. At least not without us. Right. Then until we meet again, may the wind and the goddess be with you. But mostly the wind. Overcome whatever ordeals await you, and come find us. Oh, our fuckers really just ditched us. Alright, that's it. Time to figure out just Old how much class seven? we've gotten. You're on the shit list. Effective immediately. So our objective is to enter the labyrinth and begin exploring. Yes. Once you have fought off the vicious monsters in your path and made your way to the utmost depths of the labyrinth, that will be it. For today. Now, the fact that we're getting Randy with this, alright, you know what? Maybe you're forgiven, but... Orlando, if you would lead them. Oh. Roger Wilco. Randy, I... Thank you. For helping us, I mean. I imagine you must be worried about the other branch campus students and Tio. Sure, but I trust Tio taught to take care of herself. And worrying about things you can't control doesn't help anyone. What I can do to help, though, is get you guys back up to speed while Reen's not here. And I'm sure that focusing on this right now will lead us to everyone else down the line. Thank you. We'll do our very best. We appreciate your guidance. Good. It sounds like you are ready, then. You stand before the grounds where witches of the Hexen clan who wish to venture outside the village must first prove their worth. 
Saint Graal Labyrinth. Okay. But like, I mean, I get we got powered down, but we were fighting Orion Road and McBurn at the same damn time. I mean, come on, man. And now they're like, oh, take this test that fucking Emma took before she went to Thor's or something? What an eerie play. What did they say? You stand where Hexons and wish to venture outside the village was first. Like, bro, this must be some easy ass shit. If Emma was had to do this before she came to Thor's? What an eerie place. We got fucking the Ranster. Randy, aka Punch God in the face. Like, I, uh, yeah, I've been here with the old class. Wait, what? How, how have you been? Well, I guess from the two weeks we were asleep. It's a pretty tough dungeon. I have a hard time clearing it. Wait, you think we've gotten that weak, do you? Yeah, I do. So why don't you show me I'm wrong, huh? By the way, you'll probably need these. Notice you dropped them earlier. I mean, I do, as much as I'm a little annoyed by the power debuff, I prefer it being something that's like actually introduced into the story. And like, it's more than just like, hey, all your courts are out of date for some reason. Now, I think I would have maybe preferred if they just kept us at like level 50 or whatever, but. These fall from our Arcasus? Yeah, none of you notice. Sheesh, how many courts do you lose like this? <laughs> anyway, don't forget to equip them. I mean, I think that's supposed to be poking fun at the fact that we always lose our courses between every game. Roger. Um. What do we got? We got Scold. Oh, so you get everything by default now. Alright. They don't level up over time. Well, they don't unlock over time, I should say. That's kind of cool. I don't... I mean, honestly, I think I want you to have Scold. And I guess you can take... I guess you take Sirius, you take Scold, and... And then Subquartz. I guess Scold... Probably still counters and I guess, Scold? And we do have these, but they're banned. All right. Oh, I thought you were just joking earlier. We truly are weak enough to be worth the girl. You must have misplaced the rest of our courts, as you said. That's why I'm making you run this drill. Can't do anything but your butterfingers, so I get you back in shape. Also, make sure you can take you can use orders. What? You mean brave orders? That shouldn't be a problem. Our orchestras are fully functional. Until I see you prove in the field, we won't know for sure. Unless I give you some kids some battle tech tips, all right? I'm your instructor while Reen's gone, and trust me, I'll work you way hard in the Ashen Chevalier. Let's go! Move over, Reen. The new protagonist is logged online. Well, whatever you throw at us, we can handle it. I agree. Let's get started, then. Oh, boy. I know about the ancient Sumerian healing machines. You ain't gotta explain about the ancient Sumerian healing machines to me. Then you get too rough, let's come back here. Armor charging stations are found, you can rest. Won't get you any CP though. Fuck ya. Alright, Randy, buddy, friend, pal, guy, what is it that you say you do here? Okay, you do damage. Channels the blood of the war god. It's pretty cool. You still have this. It KOs. It's a line attack. 40% HP, 8, what the hell? <laughs> That's interesting. So it doesn't give you strength or anything, but it still gives you a bunch of CP and then regen afterwards. So you, if you like instant S-Craft or anything, you can like instantly negate the HP loss. Interesting, interesting. And then no order, no order for the Ranster, really?
Man, the minimap is so zoomed out. Can you make it, like, zoom in a little bit more? I mean, that looks like the way we're supposed to go. Treasure chest. Okay. Silver chain. Just poison? Oh, it gives a thousand HP. Jesus. Um. I guess we put you in the front. What the hell is this formation? Don't even talk to me. What's your movement like, Kurt? You need to be forward a little bit. Let's put the Unster in the front. Nope, wrong thing. Champion Metal, still banned. We'll probably use it later on, like once we... It doesn't feel quite so strong. But granted, I guess if this thing is 1,000 HP, then... By default. That's a monster, it looks more like... Yes, yeah, so I call it a fiend. We should exercise caution. Yeah, you'll regret it if you're too confident. Labyrinth suppresses the three higher elements in phase one. You'll still be able to deal with the opponent too as long as you make good use of those combat links in your orders, got it? I see. We should get some training in so we can re-familiarize ourselves with these combat tactics. Yeah, good idea. Let's get to work, troops! Okay. Am I gonna get destroyed because I didn't get a back attack? Okay, good dodge. Oh, you have insight? Oh yeah, because you have the... <laughs> Second, oh my Here fucking go. god, shit smack in this game, man. Alright. You wouldn't kill you, know, would you? No oh god, I'm already like. We're getting dunked on. What if we didn't die? Strike. What are your what are your thoughts on us not dying? Here I go! You can't escape! Fire! What if you missed? Okay, what if you didn't kill me? What if you didn't kill me? Why did that do so much more damage? Very well. It's cool. It's cool. Let's go. You got Kurt. He's dancing. Oh, you don't have your other ability. There. Bro, did you miss? Gotcha. Got it. Let's call us eighty. Okay, so you're still at max. You're almost dead. You're done for. Eat this. Red eyes, Randy can't hurt you. Red eyes, Randy doesn't exist. Knocked him right into next week. I mean, that's a good debut for the Randster. I went all right, but still, yeah, you know, went all right. You didn't die or nothing. Yes, the power of our order is underwhelming to say the least. So it wasn't my magic. Okay, so there is probably some order leveling up going on here. See, so he told you, didn't I? Why don't orders get weaker? They got nothing to do with our physical strength. Are you effective too, Randy? Nah, I'm fine. But you don't have an order. Shut up. The only old class seven members are having the same problem. And anyone as bad as you guys, though. I don't think it's got something to do with Reen's curse. His curse is affecting us. That is fairly inconvenient and seems kind of like plot bullshit. But why has it affected us more than others? Maybe because we lost a lot more mana when we were pounding our Panzer Soldats? Uh, so annoying we can't use orders like we used to. Might look for a way to get your orders back to full power, but for now, just think of it as more intense training. I know you can do it. You're right, thanks. Now, I don't really know how this works, because, I mean, they're the exact same power as they were in CS3. I guess technically Yunus is slightly weaker, but the other two are just as strong, basically. So it's a little weird. Battle tab is now unlocked in your notebook. Battle tab automatically report information on enemies you have fought. Wonder to unlock all the gimme. Yep, nope, not happening. Let's be honest. I am many things. A uh, collector of combat logs, not one of them. Just what I needed. I kind of like the healing lines. I mean, they'll definitely get old, but in theory, I think they're cool. Don't want to make any changes. I mean, the region, I just feel like Kurt, I mean, what do you get out of Sirius? You get one turn of insight and stronger counters. But I kind of like you. I guess we can, because you will still get the counter benefit at least. I mean, I do like the one turn of insight, but 
I think the regen will probably be a bit more useful. Okay, so I, th I guess you take... Equip, equip something. Oh, wait, can I steal Regulus from Randy? I can. I guess we can set that as our sub. I mean, I kind of like that. And I guess you roll this. Oh, you can have, uh, I think someone mentioned this. You can have multiple subcourts now. Oh, you don't have a subcourt? All right, cool. Bro, why you got Recruia? Oh, so it seems like they have updated, upgraded slots are back. All right. Well, I guess I'm, I think I'd rather you have Regulus. No, 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 Scald's still good. Even if your break skill's a bit weaker. A new type of fiend? Don't even look at it. You know, you better be careful. This might be the perfect time to test out gunner mode. I'm gonna be honest. I mean, like, I know I slept on gunner mode and it's apparently good, but like, I don't know. I just don't ever remember. And I'm a little like... We have the advantage. Bro, there's so many. What the fuck? I mean, I kind of prefer if you didn't instantly go, girly. I mean, I kind of would prefer if you kept your inside available. You do resist magic. How fast is this? Not fast enough. I think we buff... I'm probably gonna attack with Randy. I think we have to we're gonna have to instant ult with him and hopefully kill the little other thingies. Let's attempt to buff Kurt. Granted, there's not really that much reason to do it with uh I think you can war cry ult. Oh, it's not free targeting? Well, that makes it a bit worse. Also, the AoE is like pretty pathetic. Yeah, okay, I guess go for this. About time I got this started. I've gotten so used because I feel like all the ults in CS3 were big enough that you could hit everything you needed to. I feel like they're back to being like a much smaller now. That did that that, that kind of schmacked. Some might say a schmacked. Okay, so this is gonna be a lot more manageable now. The Fragrock, yeah, Fragrock still has like infinite range basically. This one is not imbalance. This is 50 CP now. God, it feels so. Feels so eh. Yeah, I think we blast you. Activate Fragora. Destroy. I mean, it good My good turn. damage on the the break scale. Uh -huh. Let's go. We just do it the one time. So really, the casting a spell to preserve insight didn't really do anything. You're, fi you're fine, Kurt. You're fine. Don't kill Kurt. You're legally not allowed to kill Kurt. Gosh, dang it. Essentially the same, but we uh we haven't seen Altina's ult in a long time. Uh, 
Battle complete. Let's continue. Let's not talk about that fight. Link level 2, man, their Link is already as high as it was at the end of CS3. <laughs> uh, that's not even like an exaggeration. I think we were like Link level 3 with a couple of characters. And then it was like the only other ones that were higher than that were the ones that start at 4. Not bad, huh? We're doing better now that we've been at this for a while. Let's keep the momentum going. Yeah, keep going, you guys. Hurt. Hurt, you're dead. Hurt, are you really gonna make me walk all the way back to the healing machine? Yes, I am. Kurt Vander would like to go back to the healing machine. And loaded. Kurt Vander think it would be nice if he could obtain all of his CP back at the healing machine. Unfortunately, the Ancient Zemurians do not believe in CP. Therefore, they do not program that feature in. So wait, does that stuff as your main on you? Do I want that? I mean, I guess I do. But I do think I'd actually want Scold on instead. Just because the HP region with you being in the front is probably better. 1% evasion and one turn of insight at the start is like kind of not any good. Can I steal Regulus? Wait, what if I gave you Deva? <laughs> Um. Okay. I mean, one percent region isn't like completely useless. I mean, honestly, the per turn region, like, I, I really slept on it because I didn't. I don't know why, because. CP region doesn't work, CP, like auto CP up doesn't work like this, but I was thinking that it only gave you a 5%, re like it was a permanent, like the way region, I guess, normally works, where it's only on your turn. I guess it's kind of why it made me think that's the way it worked, and I slept on it for a while. Now, I still think it runs into the issue of, like, I think for the most part, the damage reduction from Keeper is better than the HP region. Especially since, uh, auto tier exists in the late game. Like in that whole like final section, where we're getting the stuff where you have access to Elliot, for example. Woo, baby, some treasure. HP two. If HP so good, why haven't they made an HP two? I think we just make Yuna tanky as hell, and then just hope everyone hits her. <laughs> Maybe not the best strat in hindsight. Actually, no. no, no. You, you keep the HP too, but let's at least balance it a little bit better so that that boy Kurt doesn't get completely destroyed. Do you know any heals? You do. A good break. Okay, what time are we at? Oh, we're on 20 minutes. I feel like it's been recording for a lot longer, but... Hello. Watch out, there's a strong foe ahead of us. That's the most annoying one you can find in this area. Use everything you got and don't hold back. Orders, crafts, arts, everything. It was that saying, but combat links are essential when you're in battle. Try and break the enemy first. Oh, it is just a thing for that. Will Tia and I follow up with Rush and Burst next? No. High level link attacks have a better chance of inflicting break. Yeah, but then you could use your BP on something better. You guys know what's up, it's pretty good. Let's use my order for this one too. Let me know if you need it. Don't rely on it too much, though. Only as we really need it, okay? <laughs> we got it. Randy can now use the order Proud Warrior. The specialized offensive order. Buffs your team and increases damage delivered to your foes for both physical and magic attacks. Followed with Vestcrafts or high-powered arts to deal a huge amount of damage in a short time. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm not that bad at the game. Got him. Don't let up! Alright, so... I mean, honestly, this shit seems really good. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to be enough to actually get you to S-Craft territory, and it's possible you might just, like, straight up die. And nobody has any, uh... CP right now, which is a bit of an issue, but... You're fine, you know. You'd never die. 
You you know would never die. You you know. Like I said, you know would never see the HP region. It saved her. Okay, having no CP on anyone is like a is like an actual fucking issue right now. They have no CP and no BP. It's down. Gotcha. Okay, that that got the Ranster some B puzzle. We probably do this, lower your uh, stats, and then hope Randy can break you. Seems like that's probably the best thing to do. You can't escape. Fire! Bro, fucking stop missing everyone. No. Are we back in uh, accuracy hell? About time I got this started. Yeah, steel. I'd just give up if I were you. Oh god, what I'm so alive. Kurt, you're fine. My turn. Kurt would never die. Okay, Kurt. There, it's possible that boy Kurt is a fucking that boy dead. You think you could do 700 damage? I mean, I don't think so. But what if you could? An opening. Thankfully, Kurt. Let's go. He's still the Lord of all things. Ah! My turn. Okay, so what's better? The Blade Dance auto attack or do Rain Slash. Probably Rain Slash. Kurt, I hope you're gonna attend my funeral so that you can let me down one last time. I was foolish. Here I go. Gang, my turn. I need you to break the enemy. Gang! <laughs> you're fine, you're fine, Here Andy. I, go. I shall go. One whole attack. Foggy woggy. Yeah. Now. Gotcha. Okay, I think we're fine because we can just ult with Randy if we have to. Well, let's do Got one it. regular well, could we work on? We could, but it'd probably get us killed. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Oh man, thankfully Randy's here to carry our ass. Okay, cheers helpful. Auto charge, not as helpful. Phew, the danger's been dealt with. Yeah, behemoths like that used to be a piece of cake for us. Here's what we need to play catch up. It's quite aggravating to think about all the training we need just to return to how we were before. On set, it take it one step at a time and you'll get there. Everything will be fine. Sounds like you got back in the swing of things. All well, these decisions are making to you guys now. Take down the enemies however you want. Thanks, Randy. My strategy will remain um, try and play the game, fail, pray for Randy's S crap to save me. So far, that seems to be the best way to do this. Can I unequip your Thalos and give it to you? If only so that I stop. I don't have to run all the way back. And honestly, I'll use your mana. I mean, do I want to keep that on Altina? I mean, kind of? Unfortunately, Silver, it's just the area is so small. Do you at least get, I mean, you at least get Soul Blur. I was like, do you really get Devo, but you ain't got no time arts? All right. 
Now that's the good stuff. But I mean, so far it's, I mean, it's going. I mean, the biggest issue is that we've got no fucking CP, which is like a big issue because we keep dying and then we got no CP. These pillars appear to be cracked. Leave it to me, I'll call Claim Saleus. Thanks, Sally. I can handle it, but you and Randy are probably more efficient. <laughs> well, efficient's efficient, yeah? Certain objects in the field, such as cracked pillars, can be destroyed by a field attack. Some weapons are more effective than others. For example, Altina and Randy can destroy an obstacle in one hit while Yuna needs two. Very but, like, well. why? No. <laughs> For being honest. Yeah. Here I go! Here I go! Yeah, I'm going to try. I mean, the problem with, like, trying to fight you. Don't let up! Does I only get to. Bro, Kurt, you can't even reach? Kurt. I'm like, I can't even, like, I can't even risk fighting you guys. Let's fall back. Because if I run up, I'm just going to get fucking Let's schmacked and die. I guess no CP for me. That's cool. An opening. Let's beat it. Catch you later. Spirit incense. That's useful. I'll hold on to that for 90 hours. I mean, at least there was some incentive to use them now, like, and not just completely. I mean, granted, I did use them all by the end of the game. Now, I did also sell, like, probably a third of the ones we got for money, but... I need all the CP I can get, man. Alright, bro. Don't let up! Okay, so get some good get some good BP here. They're off guard! I'll assist! Now. Now I would love to crit here. The issue is that then we have to deal with three to potentially infinite attacks before we get to run away, and that means we will die and lose what little CP we've been able to scrape by. That means we have to say goodbye to that BP and CP. Very well. I shall go. Eh. Charge complete. Here I go. Hm. I mean, at least I'm glad that the destructible stuff exists and gives like some amount of CP. But there's also a part of me that's like, what if they gave like ten times the amount of CP they gave? Would that be broken? I don't think so. We can take a break here. But I think we will before we run run into this boss fight. We will. Uh, Get CP real quick and BP. We don't know. I mean, the prologue fight in CS3's difficulty mob is like really, really difficult in comparison to like the stuff you fought immediately after. So we'll uh we'll see how it goes. Be right back. All right, we're back. Um, after a thousand years, we have finally obtained the CP we need. I did also change in the config. Uh, in the launcher to make the toggle or the speed function no longer a toggle. Um, I just mainly because I'm used to it not being a toggle. Uh, that's probably already been commented a, a couple times in like those initial videos, but I I kind of thought there was a setting and I just didn't think to mention that I knew it already was a setting. I just kind of um, didn't think to check and whatnot. I did also, uh, I was looking in the options to see if there was something here. And I did see this little piece of art, which is interesting. Um, I just want to mainly mention that I saw it. The main thing here is like, is that the ghost of Emperor Dreykels over there? Because it, it kind of like the ghost of Emperor Dreykels in the in the corner there. Uh, I don't know what's up with that, but uh, sure, just bring back fucking everybody. Nobody has to die anymore. Because at first I was like, I thought it was Crow, but it's also, it doesn't really look like Crow at all. Other than having the kind of white-ish hair, but Crow's is more of like an off-white. Whereas that's the same white as Reen's, and he has the same long hair that we saw Dracul's had in uh, the flashbacks. You know, Kurt technically isn't max CP, and neither is Randy, but like, hopefully it's fucking close enough. I don't, well, okay, you know what, we can at least get Randy. Just don't, don't fight me. Get in there. Don't, don't hey, fight me. Don't let up. Okay, one hit. Alright, see ya. 
Dang. Huh. Yeah, getting CP at the start of the game is like really freaking annoying. Cause like I think we I think Randy maybe knows heat up, but like Do you? Yeah, I mean you do know it. The problem is getting to cast it before you get fucking obliterated by enemies sucks. This is not like it's unlikely to happen. All right, anything we want to change before we jump in? I mean, Scald's still probably the best thing for you. All right, let's go. Altina, you're legally not allowed. Kurt, can I give you ears? One day. One day you'll get your ears back. Maybe. <laughs> Having some trouble, are we? Lady, you're already on thin ice as a character. Are you really gonna go out of your way to antagonize me? R Rose? What are you doing here? She must have teleported herself ahead of us. Yes, I suppose I did. What marks would you give these students, Orlando? I'd say they pass, but just barely. Still, I think they're ready for today's final test. You can't be serious. Just, dear God, not a magic knight. Wait, is our final test really gonna be... I mean, if we're fighting her, that's also fine, but, like, just don't summon nothing. Yo, how do you get that shit back? Yes, a battle against the last of the true ancestors and elder of the Hexen clan herself. I wish to see the limit of your power, and then... What lies beyond it? I mean, that's kind of cool, but at the same time, like, aren't you self dunking on yourself? The level of your predecessors, that you may reclaim your lost instructor. Because you spent all this time establishing that these guys are super we'll weak now, that. but like we're supposed to be able to fight you. Let's go, guys! Come on, Randy, you too. Sure, but let me warn you, Roselia's crazy strong. But like, is she? You're gonna need to hit her with all you've got. Now. Come at me with everything you have! You can't use that word. Okay. AP requirements survive to the end. What does that even mean? How do I reduce her and not survive? Not today. It's my turn. Okay. Well, what what is it that you say you do here? Alright, you're gonna Welcome to the hell, alright? Population you. Anything we want to do? I think we could we could win blade. I think we could afford a win blade. Win blade formation. We don't have anything super expensive. You can't Fire! I would really prefer it if you did not. My turn. Let's go. Cast a zero arm. There. Get delayed. Get whacked. Now. Do you delay? You do. It doesn't really do anything because it's only a two delay, but like, what if it was better? Then you'd all be sorry. Bro, Chrono Drop's AoE is massive. How refreshing. Would that restore on her? Not today. My turn. I mean, it looked like it was like our break gauge. Maybe it was supposed to be CP? Did you see? You didn't steal CP from me, I don't think. Just kind of get over there, man. What does this just do anything? It KOs. Probably not going to happen. Burn? Nope. You don't, you don't... I mean, I guess it makes sense you wouldn't be weak to burn, but, like, what if you were? I kind of want you to stay in the AoE, though, actually. But I do want you to get away. What's the delay on your S-Craft? It's 49? Yes, yeah, that's, that's kind of, like, a hard ask. I mean, this is only 29. Okay, I mean, what if I like, just say, for sake of the argument, Here I go. for the sake of the argument, we blast again? About time I got. <laughs> like, let's just assume that we blast again, and there was nothing you could do about it. And then that boy Kurt came in and said, "What if you're delayed?" And then you say, "Okay, never mind. I don't believe in that shit." Not today. All right. 
I mean, you're kind of getting your ass smacked. I mean, you might still kill me. But, like, I want you to know that you're getting your ass smacked. Do I think she can kill Kurt? No. Kurt, true Kurt's never die. You can't escape! Fire! Take this! <laughs> I shall go. Now, there is actually an argument for the heal here. Well, okay, you can instant crest, or you could just buff your speed. I'm a little worried about Yuna being in one-shot territory. I'm also a little worried about you being right next to us. How far away can you move? I kind of think I just move you away. Take this. Yeah, that's perfect. Very well. Splitting the damage. That's what we like to see. Let's go. I don't know if I can deal with Kurt not having his cat ears. Like, I didn't really, like, I didn't really notice it at first, but like now that I've noticed it, I'm like, oh yeah, something's fucking off, man. Break through, sledgehammer. Let's go. It is kind of weird how some things like don't get sped up now with the fast forward. I did, yeah, I blade danced. Saintly force. Okay. My turn. But you got rid of your stat debuffs. You could lower your strength and speed. Which is what we're definitely going to do. I can't remember this. Yuna's... Do we need debuffs? You lower defense by a lot. That could be good. If we could combo it with Randy blasting. I think we just want to try and nullify your strength debuff and hope you cast you physically attack instead of uh Search mode activate. Detailed information obtained. The Elder of the Hexen Clan, well the most powerful magic. I do believe okay. I'll help myself. This is probably physical. True Kurt's never die. How refreshing. I mean you have a CP. Now. I mean is that like a real mechanic? I mean I know characters have CP in the past, but like that doesn't really like ever mean anything. You go again instantly? It was a 12 delay. You shouldn't have gone again instantly. Search mode activate. Scan complete. Here I go. Alright, get up in that ass. Alright! And by get up in that ass, uh, don't do anything, alright? <laughs> This is nothing. True Kurtz never die. This is nothing. About time. This should do decent damage, even if it's only 100 CP. This is nothing. Now. And we should break you if nothing else. <laughs> this isn't. Okay, that did literally nothing, Altino. What the hell? This is nothing. You, you wouldn't kill. You wouldn't kill a Kurt. I don't, I don't believe you can, because you're going to get broken. And then, dear God, don't go again instantly. Wait, this is a delay of 14? What? That doesn't seem right. Cutless cowards. This is nothing. Okay. You see, the thing is, is that she is still not dead. And we probably just want to go for our biggest damage because we're not going to be able to ult. There. Boom! You're you're de you've been defeated. You have done well holding out this far, but it is time we brought. Oh, this so to it's probably class. now if we have to, if we actually beat you. Isn't this just gonna one shot me? Is that an Evan Crest? Oh, crimson moonlight, veiled in dust. Lend me your power. Burn to ashes. 
I mean, I wouldn't have all in. I kind of thought the fight would end. But I guess I just I don't really know what it meant by survive until the end. I have no clue why Altina lived. Wait, what? It said we... I don't know if we got the AP. It had a red marker. Oh, maybe nobody can die? That doesn't make any sense. But like... I mean, I'll redo it, but you're not... I mean, I'm guessing it didn't count, but... I don't know. I mean, it gave us AP. But I mean, really, is there any difference in like if I just had enough BP to Evan Crest before she enhanced? I mean, it doesn't really. I mean, even if we didn't technically get the AP, I'm going to count that as an AP because I don't know. I don't really care to redo the fight and do the exact same thing, but just Evan Crest before we kill her. Impressive. You managed to survive. That was real scary. Incredible. What power she wields. A single mistake. And we would have been done for. That wasn't half bad, you guys. I mean, I think that's the first time in history that a character is S-Craft and didn't one-shot the entire screen. Well, I suppose it counts as a pass, even if that was just a fraction of my power. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right, goodbye. You're back to normal. Yeah, normal. Is that the form you to soup what you looked like originally? That is correct. I'm until I divided my power to create Selene and Guyanos. I'm able to recover my s form in places like this which overflow with mana. Though only for a brief time, as it were. Man, yeah, that's looking like a little girl. You're turning even to I used to be. I'm not saying there isn't a man for that sort of look, but I much prefer the mature form myself. I mean, he's, he's spitting. By God, he's spitting. I hate it, but it's true. Randy, keep that to yourself. I mean, like, I agree. I would prefer it. I mean, like, if she looked like she was 20 or 30, it still accomplishes the whole, like, infinitely aged being that looks like they're young. And it would still serve as creating a smoke screen to make her not instantly seem like she's the grandmother, as long as you don't pay attention to her name in the character intro. But, like,. I don't know. Why she gotta be 10, man? No one cares to hear your preferences with this. Though for some reason it doesn't bother me as much as Instructor Reen. I think I know what you mean. Instructor Reen's still looking calm for the most part, but he's also some sort of playboy lady killer. But like, is he? Guess Reen's not having a rough go of it on that end, huh? Just the consequences of his natural charm, I suppose. Well, young one, consider the first round complete. Take some rest and then enter the labyrinth once again. Each time you return here, you'll find even stronger monsters just to keep things challenging. Huh? Please don't tell me. We aren't finished here? Of course not! You thought one run through would be enough to get you back in fighting shape? Only a few days here, but you won't need to be, uh... You won't nearly be ready if you don't push your past your limits. Don't worry not, there are facilities here that will allow for a quick recovery. Then you can push those limits of yours to your heart's content. In fact, perhaps I'll go ahead and absorb some of that fresh young energy for myself, seeing there's plenty to go around. Gross. Well, I guess the pressure's on, but all right, let's do this. Right, this is only the first step. I'll persist no matter how severe the training in order to uphold the oath I made to myself. Yeah, like, I don't know if we got the because it had like red background, like you failed. It was red bad. I don't know. But we did get one AP. But honestly, I'll accept the AP loss because I don't really want to do that. Like, I feel like there's not, if the if the AP condition is just beat it without anybody dying to the s scrap, that's a little lame. So this is a fairy spring, is it? Ah, oh, it's so soothing. It may be even more effective than the bath at our dorm. everything we did today, I feel like I'm slowly starting to get back some of my old strength. I was worried at first when I noticed how stiff I was in battle, but now? Yeah, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Our priority now is getting back into shape while the others start gathering intel. We may want to rebuild our stock of ports and equipment as well. Nope. You're gonna be on fucking survival rations the rest of the game, Altina. You know who your commander is? 
me. I don't believe in that shit. You're going to be rolling action ones the rest of the game. Good call. There's a workshop in the village. Just check it out later. Hey there. Taking a well-deserved dip, I see. Still in high spirits, I see. I suppose I will simply need to give you an even more grueling challenge tomorrow. Yeah, okay, that's like cool and all, but like, let me go out into the real world now. Oh, hey, you guys coming in? I'll just go ahead and make myself scarce then. My apologies. Now, now, there's no need for that. You just stay as you are. Mixed bathing is commonplace here. Think of it as a test of your fortitude. Shut the hell up. I'm not sure I like the way you put that. I was going to say it seems kind of weird that, you know, like, I don't know. I kind of figured there'd be like horny bait stuff about Kurt being in the mixed bath, but I guess we're saving that for Randy. You know, why the sudden embarrassment? Like I said before, I don't mind holding off this time around. But you're tired too, aren't you? It's not like there are any other baths you can use. They're not a big deal. We're all wearing towels after all. I'd watch out for you. A swimsuit's got nothing on a towel slipping off in the right places. Randy, that's fucking gross. Randy, cut it out! Like, she's underage, weirdo. <laughs> like, you're too old to be making that comment to like a 17 year old. Ah, oh, youth, so pure, so naive. I have to say, you've got quite the promise. <sighs> it's cold steel, baby! I have to say, you've got quite the promising pair, though they pale in comparison to Emma's, of course. They must just be brimming with fatigue. What's that? Rest that out of you? Hold up. That's not the kind of fortitude I thought we'd be testing. God, I hate it. You're gonna want to see this one, Kurt. Actually, I think I'll be going after all. Kurt Vander does not like this. <laughs> Kurt Vander is worried that his horn anti horny alliance membership card will be revoked if he does not leave immediately. Yeah, Kurt's a member of the alliance. He was enlisted, he was conscripted, thanks to the national mobilization law, the anti-horny version. Amelia, I get the feeling everything's gonna work out just fine. Hold on just a little while longer, Instructorine. Yuna, Kurt, and I, we'll meet back up with Muse and Ash somehow. Once we do, we'll get you back too. Definitely. Allie, are you just gonna let this happen? God damn it. What the fuck is this game? Yuna, please have some decency. Worlds apart, just as I thought. Hands off already, you... See how you like it then, Allie? Dear God, no. Huh? Smooth and squishy to the touch. I could just do this forever. Yuna. Get it, Uni. That's more like it. Stop it, you two! You're just egging them on! <sighs> At least it was just like a regular hug for Yuna and Altina, but like... Did anyone really laugh at that shit? <laughs> I'm being honest. I mean, I'm not saying that like sexual humor can't be like used and be kind of funny at times, but like... I'm gonna sexually assault this character and then they like only half-heartedly resist. It's just a really cringy... Joke. I mean, it's very common in anime, but like, just because it's common doesn't mean it's good. Okay, good. We do get to just. I was like, I didn't think they were gonna make us like actually do several more levels of the labyrinth immediately. I assume it is gonna be you know the old schoolhouse, and you come back to it at various points in the story. But I was like a little worried that they were just gonna make us do like three days of <laughs> labyrinth stuff. You and the others spent day after day in the labyrinth, training constantly. No sooner had they gotten their strength back did they receive a message from old Class 7. So are we level 50 now? New Class 7's own day of departure then came with the following dawn. Fishing. Oh my god. They fish here? I, just, well, I kind of got a little spoiled on their new outfit. Well, at least Yuna's new outfit, I noticed, on that display screen. Um, okay, Yuna's new outfit, cool. Altina's, a little weird, but I'm kind of digging it. Kurt, what the fuck are you wearing? 
Like, Yuna's outfit is actually, like, pretty cool. Altina, it's a little... I don't know. I don't, something about it just seems a little... Might give me a take a little bit to get used to. Kurt, what the hell are you wearing? Kurt. Kurt. Bro. What is this? Wow, these feel great. They're so easy to move around in. Your guys' new outfits look great on you too. Thank you. I'm surprised how well they suit me. I didn't expect such modern clothing from an ancient village of witches. Some of us bring back magazines from the outside world from time to time. It's enough of us to keep up on the latest fashions. I once tried dressing a little more hip, as the young people say, but Emma said it did not suit me. Huh, guess she's gonna be surprisingly stubborn about that kind of thing. I suppose it does behoove her as the village elder to put forth an appearance of grace and dignity. But, like, she doesn't do that. Wish I could have seen that. I bet you were really cute. Anyway, it seems we can finally get started. Yes, beginning today, we can take our first steps towards finding our instructor. I mean, as long as Altina keeps the hat. I'd be devastated if she lost the hat. For real? What kind of lead you guys find? At this point, it's only a tentative possibility based on grandmother's abilities and our own investigations. But if all goes well, we may be able to pin down the Black Workshop's location. That's excellent news. Yeah, it definitely seems like the place they'd be keeping him. But how exactly are we supposed to find it? I understand your concern. In the 800 years since the witches and gnomes split, we haven't even found a trace of their headquarters. They may have mechanisms in place to evade our senses, but perhaps they may even be hiding in a different dimensional space. If their lair truly exists somewhere within the Empire, however, that considerably narrows our search. Great Twilight has caused unprecedented disturbance in the spirit veins. There are several spots across Erebonia where the local mind has been stirred into a frenzy. We call these spots singularities. As far as I can discern, there are seven spots of such a notable size. The members of Old Class 7 have already been dispatched to check on the ones in Kroizen, Nortia, and Nord. There are two more in Sutherland and the Mare, and the final two we have yet to locate. The plan is to drive a spirit stake into each one of these singularities in order to stabilize them. Once we use the spirit veins again, any blank spots on our map will stand out clear as day. Interesting. It's almost like a magical version of active sonar. Clever. Instead of searching for the workshop itself, you can't, you'd be singling out places your senses can't reach. The theory is solid enough, at least. Kurt Vandor approves. You two really followed all that? I mean, uh, right. Sounds good. Remember, there are no guarantees will actually lead us to the workshop. Unless we find those last two singularities, our odds of success aren't great. Still, even though it's the slightest possibility, we'll bet everything on it. Whatever it takes, we'll find Reen and bring him home. Everyone. You're right. You're totally right. Let's do this. Thank you all for your help. All of us working together, we should have it done in no time. You can leave the singularities in the east and north to us. Rest is up, but I want to go to Nord. Rest is up to you, new class 7. Right? We had not now, Roselia. I'm glad to hear it. you've all worked exceptionally hard to recover your lost strength. Consider the trials you've overcome so far. I have every confidence you succeed in your mission. You'll succeed in your mission. Thank you. Dr. Randy, are you coming with us? Nope. Yes! Yes, at the very least. I want some answers, or at least for a little bit. I want some answers too. Let's fucking go. I was really, like, I was already prepared for the disappointment of no Randster. But by God, he's back. Everyone in Erebonia better just be happy they removed uh, combo crafts or else you'd all be fucked. Randy and Lloyd get back together again. Drop a hot load of burning rage on Osborne's uh, face. Oh man, it's fucking over. You're just, you're just lucky. They were too strong. I figured I might be able to track down Teo's out of a stick with you guys. That makes sense. We should be able to pick up some information as we travel. I recommend you start by looking for the Sutherland Singularity. You have the tools I gave you? Yep. It's these stake things, right? Once you find a singulator, we drive these in to stabilize them, right? What if you stabbed her right now? The pendulum was like the pendant Emma gave and shot to Rain. Phantom materials that react to large concentrations of mana. And also acts as the key linking this village to the outside world. Head through the woods on the outskirts of town. The teleportation stone there should take you to the Ismia Great Forest. Ah, before you go, I have a message from some of the villagers. Uh, hmm? At least the innkeeper and Gandalf the blacksmith. Eucalyst, too. They all said they have something for you. Eucalyst is at the center of the village, while Lise and Gandalf can be found in their respective establishments. 
Or Gandalf. Gandalf. Oh, there's a... I wonder what it is they want us to give. They want to give us. I feel bad. They've already done so much for us already. Man, I don't have an acceptable extra hospitality. They want to give it. Exactly. Exactly, Randy. I'm just saying, if you give me too much, uh, Randy time, I'm not going to want Reen back. No costume is equipped. The character's costume will automatically change the story. During some scenes, costumes over that scene will be shown. Even the costume item is equipped. Like, can I have Kurt's cat ears back, please? <laughs> what the hell is watching this? Look. Oh my gosh, he's about to drop the fucking hottest rap album of 1206. Holy shit. Look at her. Kurt. I need the cat ears back, man. Can I give you your old outfit? You look awful, man. Said you got Altina stuff. Ah, that's horrible. Askew travel hat? I mean, I think I just like your normal hat. <laughs> the Askew one, I mean, it's kind of nice. <laughs> I can't get over her expression. So good. Kurt, what in the hell are you wearing, man? I mean, it looks like... All right. Very well. This looks like some shit Josh would wear, and then Estelle would whack him upside the fucking head and say, No, you're not wearing that shit. <laughs> Kurt, buddy. My turn. My turn. What is this? This is the Celestial Basin, and other... It's short, it's a map of the spirit veins across the Empire. I pulled out a storage room for the spiritual scan. I see. Must be a very impressive tool. We'll begin operations to locate the Singularity in Sutherland. We are candor on your help. Don't worry yourself. Leave this work to us. Or to me. I would usually make Invita help out with things like this, but she went and disappeared yet again. Really, she's the same as ever. I think she's cooperating with the Vaisan army that Muse set up. I suppose she intends to exit the spotlight for the time being. I'll try tracking her down, but I wouldn't count on anything coming of it. Anyway, it's time you headed off. We're relying on your leadership, Orlando. Roger will go, Rosie. The teleportation storm for Sedlin is south of the woods. We haven't fully grasped the situation on the outside, so stay focused. Oh god, R Randy, you've been stabbed by her text. Uh, goodbye. Tell Theotot that... <laughs> A strange-looking basin sits in the middle of the room. Come on, let me see. Anything in here? Got a crystal ball? A variety of magic tools are stored here. Can I have some? Nope. Okay. Well, there's a good variety of books here. Look at that. Marching towards dystopia. Why do you have this? <laughs> I mean, I get it's because, like, it's supposed to be all the, the books from the previous game, but... For all the side books, but, like... Seems kind of weird. You got a copy of... G's Weird Manifesto. Anything going on? Or of notice to spot here? Probably call it here in a few minutes, but we'll, we'll scope out the place for a little bit. See if we can spot anything of interest. Can I climb the ladder? Ho 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 ho! Let's go! Evil Mishy! Oh my god, he's gonna eat you up, man! Oh! Some casual novels mixed in amongst the ancient looking texts. Oh, we can read Red Moon Rose. God, it's so goddamn long, man. <laughs> uh, Alphonse. Oh, I forgot about Alphonse, man. Man, I'll be honest, I don't remember any of this shit. I mean, like, I kind of I remember the basic plot, right? like a vampire hunter lady and then they're like fucking brah they fight a fight the vampire and then the vampire is like the super vampire but she's the super super vampire okay I 
Alrighty. Anything else around here? Wait, is that a sparkling? No? Some fancy tea? What if we stole it? I think they know who did it. We can just blame it on Randy. Randy would probably even take the fall for us. He'd take the blame, because he's a bro. I, mean, I don't know. I think, I think it's a risky maneuver, giving me instructor Randy. Like, I mean, Rain was on the was on the redemption arc in CS3. But, like, I mean, how, how can you compete with the Randster? It's hard. It's real hard. But, I mean, I do kind of like the the idea of kind of Rain not really being in the story as much for the start. I kind of th I think that makes his imprisonment have a bit more weight to it than if they just like instantly freed him at the start of the story and then moved on from there. So it being a bit more of a, a kind of prolonged absence is kind of cool. I'm on board with that. And I think it speaks to the strength of New Class 7's character development that like kind of having the story be focused around them now instead of just being uh, Reen works well. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and call it here. Next time, we will continue onward in our Cold Steel 4 journey. It's also probably going to be the last video of the day. Or, like, last video of the first recording session. Overall, good start. I'm, I'm interested. You know, I'm going to complain about some stuff at times. But I, I just complain because I like the series, man. And I want to treat it with some respect in some regards. And sometimes when you respect things... You complain incessantly about them because you want them to be better. But yeah. Alrighty. I'm Extra Cheesy87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.